Congratulations on your purchase of the Teeter Freestep LT7. If you have any questions or need any help along the way, don't hesitate to contact Teeter customer service at the number on your screen or visit teeter.com slash support for live chat assistance. For the best experience, it is critical that you follow the assembly instructions and read and fully understand the use instructions. Please read the following warnings and all instructions before using your free step. Before getting started with assembly, first unpack and prepare your workspace. Follow the instructions on the outside of the box for the easiest unpacking process. If possible, assemble the equipment at or near the space in which you intend to use it to avoid moving it later and ensure you are near a power source. Unpack all parts and support materials. Set aside packing material and clear your work area. Locate the hardware kits inside the box. They are labeled to correspond with the assembly process. Step 1. Assemble console support bar. Note. The front, back, right, and left of the equipment are labeled on page 3 of the assembly instructions. Always hand tighten all bolts or screws in each step before fully tightening with the wrench or screwdriver. Important: Do not pull or pinch the console wire during the console support bar installation. Insert console support bar into the base. Use the Step 1 hardware kit to attach the console support bar. Insert 4 bolts and 4 washers and hand tighten. Proceed to fully tighten the bolts with the 6mm Allen wrench. Carefully connect the console wires. Step 2. Assemble rear stabilizer. Lift the rear base and tilt the free step forward so the console support bar is resting on the ground. Use the 6mm Allen wrench to remove the three bolts and two washers and one wood block from the base. Discard the hardware and wood block as they are for shipping purposes only. Important. All three bolts shown must be removed for the flywheel to move freely during use. Use the Step 2 hardware kit to attach the rear stabilizer. Align the rear stabilizer with the rear of the base and hand tighten two bolts and two washers. Proceed to fully tighten each bolt with the 6mm Allen wrench. Once the rear stabilizer is assembled, return the free step to the upright position by lifting up on the console support bar until the rear stabilizer is resting on the ground. Step 3. Assemble console to console post. Important, do not pull or pinch the console wire during installation. Connect the console wire between the console post and the console. Use the Step 3 hardware kit to attach the console to the console post using the four screws and hand tighten. Proceed to fully tighten all the screws with the Phillips screwdriver. Step 4, finish console assembly. Use the Step 4 hardware kit to attach the console post to the console support bar and hand tighten three bolts and three washers. Proceed to fully tighten all the bolts with the 6mm Allen wrench. Important: Do not pull or pinch the console wire. Connect the console wire between the console post and the console support bar. Connect the power adapter to the base. Refer to page 14 of the user guide. Temporarily plug into a power source. To enable you to move the linkage as needed in the remaining steps, you will need to disengage the step lock. Press and hold the lock button on the console for 5 seconds. Once the console shows unlocked and the linkage moves freely, unplug the power adapter from the wall until assembly is complete. Step 5. Assemble console support cover set. Attach the console support cover set using 5 screws from the Step 5 hardware kit, taking care not to pinch the console wire. Fully tighten with the Phillips screwdriver. Step 6. Assemble leg cover sets. Locate the front leg cover sets, noting right and left markings. Pair each set over the corresponding right and left upper front leg. Tip. To gain better access to the screw holes during assembly, carefully adjust the position of the linkage by pushing forward or pulling backward. Use the Step 6 hardware kit to attach the leg cover sets with three screws on each side and fully tighten with the Phillips screwdriver. Step 7. Assemble handle support tubes. Locate the handle support tubes, noting right and left markings. Align the handle support tubes onto the top of the forward pivot arm. 
use the Step 7 hardware kit to attach the handle support tubes using five bolts on each side and hand tighten them. Proceed to fully tighten all of the bolts with the 6mm Allen wrench. Step 8. Assemble lower seat. Locate the Step 8 hardware kit. Position the lower seat into the slot in the seat post on the base. Tip. Hold the seat slightly forward, then guide it down in a backward diagonal direction. When properly aligned, the round rod actuator that protrudes out of the lower seat will need to rest inside of the mechanism in the seat post slot. Install four bolts and four washers and hand tighten. For ease of assembly, raise the seat to the max height by lifting on the seat height adjustment lever and pulling up on the seat. Proceed to fully tighten all bolts and washers with the 6mm Allen wrench. Position the free step to rest on its back by lifting on the console support bar until the seat handles are resting on the ground. Note: Transport wheels will engage when lifting the console support bar. Use caution to avoid unintentional movement. Step 9. Assemble pedals. Locate the pedals, noting right and left assembly stickers. Insert the pedals into their respective linkage arms. Hand tighten four bolts and four washers from the Step 9A hardware kit. Hand tighten eight screws and eight washers from the Step 9B hardware kit. Proceed to fully tighten the bolts with the 6mm Allen wrench and the screws with the Phillips screwdriver. Once the pedals are assembled, return the free step to the upright position. Step 10. Assemble seat back. Locate the Step 10 hardware kit. Insert the seat back assembly into the housing behind the lower seat and hand tighten four bolts and four washers. Proceed to fully tighten all of the bolts with the 6mm Allen wrench. Step 11. Assemble seat pivot cover set. Locate the seat pivot cover set, noting right and left markings. Use the Step 11 hardware kit to attach the seat pivot cover set behind the lower seat. With the Phillips screwdriver, fully tighten two Phillips screws and two Phillips bolts. Step 12. Assemble forward pivot cover sets. Locate the forward pivot cover sets, noting right and left markings. Use the Step 12 hardware kit to fully tighten four Phillips screws on each side using the Phillips screwdriver. Tip. To gain better access to the screw holes during assembly, carefully adjust the position of the linkage by pushing forward or pulling backward on the support handle tubes. Step 13. Finish handle assembly. Locate the handles, noting right and left markings. Open the handle cam locks and insert the handles while aligning the groove with the arrow on the bottom of the open. Once in the desired position, close the handle cam locks. Note, refer to the user guide for more information on handle positions. Congratulations, your free step is now fully assembled. If you have any questions or need any help along the way, don't hesitate to contact Teeter Customer Support at the number on your screen or visit teeter.com support for live chat assistance.